Hello, welcome to Senior Stoner Studios. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you. And today, I want to talk about the honey badger. And the reason I want to bring the honey badger up is because, uh, well, let's face it, I use a lot of electronic devices to medicate. I use devices that have these circuit boards inside of them. I use devices that have 25 temperatures. I use devices that have 19 different glass options, four temperature options, just incredible different things. But let's think about what it means to get back to basics. That means just you and your dab. That's right. The only thing I'm doing here is putting a water percolator on top to make it a little smoother for me. On my new Senior Stoner Studio demonstration table, the height is perfect for this demonstration. So let's talk about the Honey Badger. Honey Badger is battery operated with a rechargeable battery. I keep an extra one in a charger at all times because I like the Honey Badger a lot. What I use it for is high intensity hits when, frankly, that's what I need. And in this case, what I've got is I've got a Honeybird large globe attachment and I'm using the high temperature tip. I bought the Honey Badger direct uh, from the website and I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed with it. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now, but what I wanna do is I wanna let people know and remind them that in the carry case here, you can keep distill it or you can keep wax and crumble and go after it when you're on the road. It's a totally self-contained device. Matter of fact, if you don't want the water cooling, if it's not an important feature for you, what you're going to then do is have the water cooling feature removed and go back just to the mouthpiece it comes with. If you just put the honey badger in the box, it's not going to come with that. It's going to come with a cylindrical, about one inch long mouthpiece. You know, typical mouthpiece. And it's small. The whole thing couldn't be more than five inches long. The point behind this for seniors is it's one and done. It's hit it, suck it, and it's done. All you got to do is put the tip into whatever you're using. I recommend distill it from a syringe or sauce or diamonds uh, or crystals. I really don't recommend uh, traditional waxes. I'll show you why over here. <clears throat> Let me make the comparison. I have a traditional hot melt wax. Even though it looks kind of uh, viscous, it's not going to give you the same properties as the diamonds in this hand, in the sauce. So you want to be very specific uh, when you're looking for things to put under the honey badger. Uh, you don't want to waste your materials and you also want them to perform as best as they can. So the honey badger, once you've got it working, only maintenance I've ever had to do with the honey badger is through this honey badger tip, honey tip they call it. There's a small opening, small. You can see through it if you look at a bright light, okay, all the way through. It's like looking through a telescope or a kaleidoscope. And at the end, you should have a clear opening. The point behind that is that's all it is. That is the mechanism. That's the simplicity. Once the tip heats up, the dab goes on it, you suck the vapor, but the vapor has the same stuff that builds up in a Dr. Dapper switch, all the gunk. So you need to use, very simply, a pipe cleaner, believe it or not. Send a pipe cleaner through either way once you have the nozzle off, and it keeps the honey badger clean and really maintenance-free besides that. Uh, once again, I keep batteries uh, extra battery in the charger at all times so I can use it whenever I want to. Um, I'll be back possibly later tonight to demonstrate it for you all. Uh, maybe I'll even come back in a short while. But have a great afternoon, everybody. This was the Honey Badger. For senior citizens, I think it's an easy thing. Here's the catch, one, one catch. It's extremely hot, this tip. I burned my lips once. I was so stoned, I picked up and sucked this instead of that. Pets, you can't let it near a pet. Understand? Because it's going to stay on for a while, maybe like 10 seconds. 
you have to be extremely careful if you buy a honey badger okay but it's worth it it's a great device double thumbs up from the real senior stoner and thank you again for watching senior stoner studios this version was the honey badger thank you